to guess, I'd guess a belly dragger. <laughs> <laughs> and you are a hopper, Spike. You are, you are. You make a shadow, Petrie. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Uh, I think it's Petrie being nervous. Do not be afraid of the shadows we are making, Petrie. Me not afraid of Ducky Shadow. Me afraid of that! I have not seen anything like that before. Oh, no, no, no. It sure is strange looking. <laughs> what could it be? Me not know, but me think it got Sarah! All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. I take that shortcut. Sarah? Oh. <sighs> <sighs> I'm glad it's you, and not the you I thought was you. <sighs> Why are you guys just standing there? <sighs> Hello, can someone help me get this thing off my horn? <sighs> Come on, everybody, let's pull! Ruby, are you okay? Oh, my! My star! Me sometimes see stars when me fall. No, my star day star. Look, it's the one right there. It's special because it can only be seen three nights between cold times. Once the star is a foot away from the night circle, it will be my star day. A star day? What's that? A star day is the day you hatched. My mom said that same star appeared in the same place on the same day I hatched. Oh, yeah. It was your star day the day we left the mysterious beyond. Happy Star Day, Ruby. I'm glad we could spend this Star Day together. Me too, Mom. Just saying I love you doesn't say how much I love you. Oh. And we love you too, Ruby. I already miss you, and I haven't even left. Well, you must learn how Chomper's friends in the Great Valley work together. Yes, Ruby. That knowledge could one day save us all Red from... Claw! Kids. Yes, Ruby. Come on, Ruby! This way!
Saurus Rock. The Great Bow is this way. Come on. <sighs> Let's go. Wow. That star day was the last day I saw my family. Sorry. Star days with my family were always so happy that thinking about it makes me sad. I didn't mean to make you sad, Ruby. Come on. Let's play some more shadow games. <laughs> Thanks, Chomper. But I don't feel like playing anymore. Mina, understand. Ruby not alone. She with us. But we're not her family. It's just not the same. She misses them very much. She does. She does. I'm gonna go cheer her up. Let's not make it worse. <laughs> it's your star day today, Ruby. And it's important for you to be clean for your special celebration. <laughs> After all, a star day is a very happy occasion. <sighs> Why does thinking about happy star days make me feel so sad? I didn't mean to make Ruby sad. I was trying to make her happy. Hey, I have an idea. Let's have a giving ceremony for Ruby. That is a very good idea. It is, it is. <laughs> and we can make it a surprise. <laughs> Me love surprise. <laughs> wait, everybody, wait. Um, what's a giving ceremony? A giving ceremony is when you give someone their favorite food, duh. <laughs> a giving ceremony is a time for celebrating friendship, giving, <laughs> and also sharing. So what's Ruby's favorite food? I know that. It's sweet bubbles. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sweet bubbles are her favoritest. They are. Then we'll go get them at the first sign of the bright circle. Yeah, we'll give Ruby the best star day ever. What if Ruby finds us? The surprise will be ruined. Ruby's busy washing, so now's the time to go. Where are we going to find sweet bubbles around here? They don't exactly grow on trees. No, but they grow on vines hidden in the sheltering grass. Sh sheltering grass? <laughs> no, 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 no. It doesn't matter where they grow. If they'll make Ruby happy, they'll go anywhere to get them. Right? Right. Right? right? Let's go.
We're too close to Mysterious Beyond. Don't worry, Petrie. We'll be fine. <laughs> doing here? We're here to pick sweet bubbles. Bah! These are my sweet bubbles. Get your own somewhere else. We came for sweet bubbles and we're leaving with sweet bubbles. Got it? Ah! Ew! That was gross. What we do now? I'm a sharp tooth. I can scare him away. That even grosser. What if we tell him why we need the sweet bubbles? He's too busy eating to listen. I think it's worth a try. Excuse me. We would like to have some sweet bubbles for our friend Star Day. <gasps> they are her favoriteest food. Star Day? Did you say Star Day? Why, I've loved my star day ever since I was a hatchling. Take as many as you like. <laughs> hmm. Nothing like a star day to make you feel nice and... <laughs> ...happy. Can't 
be with my family, but I can be with my friends. And if I'm not alone, I won't feel alone. But first, I have to find everybody. Let's make a giving place. Shouldn't someone who knows a little more about giving ceremonies be the one giving the orders? Chomper? Littlefoot? It is Ruby! Oh, no, no, no! Ducky, Chomper, let's go stall her! Sarah, you finish setting up! Huh. <gasps> hello, my friends! My friends, hello! Uh, oh, hi, hi Ruby! Uh, Ruby? Is there something wrong? Uh, no, we're just, uh... uh coming back from a long walk, and, um... We are very tired. We are, we are. Oh, well, I was hoping we could all get together and play together. Well, we should probably take a rest. Maybe later. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll just go to my thinking place to watch my Star Day star. I guess a lonely star day is better than no star day. Because if I didn't have a star day, then I wouldn't have hatched. And not hatching would be much lonelier than a lonely star day. <gasps> oh no! Earthshake! was where we were going to have your giving ceremony. We even got your sweet bubbles. <laughs> These were for you, Ruby. Sorry your star day isn't so happy. Mm, but it is happy. It is? Sure, you didn't have to do what you did, but you did. Started. 
Maybe Tria learned to fly. Oh. <gasps> well, that big surprise. Hello, kids. Nice Hello. to see you, Hello. Tria. So, what's the big surprise? Oh, Sarah, always to the point. Today, I'm taking you to my favorite place in all the Great Valley, my secret getaway. Oh, no. If it's secret, how we know about it? Because she's going to tell us. Right? Yes, it is. It is. It's my secret mud pool. Huh? We're going to a mud hole? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Newborn Come sun. follow me. To climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow our way home. To the land before time. Before time. I think you kids are just going to love my secret mud pool. What's to love about mud? Oh, this mud is special. You'll understand when you sit in it. We're supposed to sit in the mud? Mm, and just let yourself go. Ah, oh, it might be nice to go and let myself go. <sighs> oh, uh, me think, uh, uh... We were, uh, in the middle of a game of Stop the Seed. And we did agree to finish it. Right, Ducky? Uh, mud might be nice. Yup, yup, yup. But I know you cannot finish the game without me, so I will stay. <sighs> What's this? Hmm? I thought you'd be off having fun already. Dad, I don't want to go sit in some mud hole. Tria put a lot of thought into this little trip. If you don't go, I'll never hear the end of it. But, Dad... You're going. <sighs> I'll go. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Sarah. The sooner we go, the sooner we'll be on our way. And the sooner we can have fun. <sighs> fun at a mud hole? Right. Here we are. Lovely, isn't it? Being here is even better now that we're here. <laughs> <laughs> It's just mud. 
Chomper? My tooth? On the ground? But my teeth are supposed to be in my mouth! Me agree, but that tooth definitely not in that mouth. My tooth! My tooth! My tooth! Does it hurt? No. You think it will? I am sure it will all be okay. Okay? Okay! What's next? An arm? A leg? My tail? Tail! What's happening to me? Me never hear of Tooth just falling out. Never? Never? Well, I have. Huh? And I wouldn't get too attached to that tail if I were you. Hmm. Oh, I am certain Chomper is very attached to his tail. Yup, yup, yup. It's true. I am. It starts with a tooth. And before you know it, a fella's turning to bones and falling to pieces. I don't want to turn to bones! It isn't up to you. Mark my words, by nightfall, you'll be nothing but a pile of bones. Wait! How do I get my tooth back in my mouth? Hmm... We could ask Mr. Thicknose. He's heard about all sorts of things. <laughs> You came to the right place, Chopper. I've heard of many ways to stick things together. No reason they wouldn't work on teeth. You think so? Certainly, my boy. Say I and open wide. And I'll take a look inside. With some sticky tree star juice. That old tooth should not come loose. I'll fix your tooth. Duck might do the trick. Maybe mud that's nice and thick. You know what? I'm sorry, son. I can't fix this one. Can't fix my tooth? Cannot fix his tooth. Sorry, it's the truth. Too bad it's the truth. He cannot fix your tooth. Poor, poor little tooth. My apologies. I tried to please, can't be sure to. I am sorry none of my sticky solutions worked. Until today, I've always tried to avoid direct experience with sharp tooth teeth. If only sharp teeth lived here, so I could ask them about teeth. Huh? <gasps> what about Ruby? Ruby? She doesn't have any teeth! But she's lived in the mysterious beyond, where there are lots of sharp teeth. Maybe she has seen this before. You think so? Mm-hmm. Ruby knows many things. She does. She does. Maybe she fixed tooth. But she's not here. And what if she's not back by nightfall? I could fall totally apart by then. Then we'll just have to go find her before that happens. Uh, not that it will happen. But we do not know where the mud pool is. Say, chomper good smeller. Maybe he follow Ruby's smell. I'll sure try. What kind of a three-horn sits in mud? It's just as silly to sit there and watch, Sarah. Good point. I won't watch anymore. <sighs> we have been going 
going to the secret mud pool a while, but I do not know if we are getting there. Maybe that's why Tria calls secret mud pool secret. We're okay, as long as Chompers got their scent. <laughs> huh? go in there? That's what my sniffer says. Then we go in there, too. Mm -hmm. This sure strange place for relaxing. I do not think I would be relaxed in here. No, no, no. <gasps> oh, it's not so bad. Ouch! Something bite, Petrie. Oh, boy! A buzzing buzzer! <laughs> Me no think they taste good, Chopper. <laughs> yeah! Spicy. Well, at least you scared the stinging buzzer away. Oh no, here he comes again. <gasps> and he brought in all of his friends. Run! Boring. I could be with the others having fun. Stinging buzzers not follow us. Then we are safe. You fix it. Not if we can't find her. My sniffer led us into that cave. Oh no! Maybe my nose is going to fall off next! <gasps> hey! Why didn't I think of it before? We can use the looking rock. Grandpa says you can see the whole Great Valley from the top.
Petrie? You did! Me did? <laughs> you sure did! <gasps> Sometimes me scare me. <laughs> Look, the mud pool, just beyond the murky swamp. That easy to find. Are you finished relaxing yet? Come on, Sarah, try dipping in one toe. <sighs> Fine. It's warm. Mmm, that's what makes it so nice. I didn't say it was nice. It's still dumb. <laughs> this is supposed to make me relax. <laughs> now that you're in, doesn't it feel good? Well, it's better than usual, Mud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this place not smell so good. If you lived here, I am sure you would get used to it. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, me not so sure. Right now, it wouldn't be so bad if I lost my nose. Hey! Oh no! Sinking sand! <coughs> Chopper, get out of there or sinking sand will pull you in. I'm trying. <coughs> <coughs> if you have sharp teeth or no teeth. That's right. You'll always be our friend, Chomper, no matter what. But what if Mr. Threehorn's right and I turn to bones? The mud pool's just past those trees. Maybe Ruby knows something. But Chomper does not want you to leave his tooth, even if it is in the sinking sand. Me stay with Chomper. You go find Ruby and others. Thanks, Petrie. We'll be right back with Ruby. Uh, excuse me. Have you seen a fast runner with a spike tail and two three horns? Oh, hi, guys. What are you doing here? Sarah? It is you? Sarah, we have to find Ruby. It's important. Uh, follow me, please. Here we are. Ruby! We have been looking for you all day. Yup, yup, yup. Ah, I'm right here. Of course, I'm always here, since here is wherever I am. 
Chopper needs your help. Huh? He's not far. Come on. Follow us. Follow us. You guys really need to relax. He's right here. Are you okay, Chopper? No. My tooth is gone. Forever. What? You interrupted our relaxing day for a tooth? A tooth? One day I try to relax. You guys come out here and spoil Now, now. Us. We're just glad Chopper's not seriously hurt. Not hurt? I'm falling apart. Have you ever seen a sharp tooth with a missing tooth? Oh, yes. Huh? I've seen it more times than I care to see. <gasps> really? Why, sure, Chomper. You're going to lose all of your teeth. All of them? <laughs> normal sharp teeth normally lose their teeth. So if you lost your tooth, you're a normal sharp tooth. I'm normal? Here, give me your claw. Feel that? That's your new tooth. New tooth? Yes, new tooth. And this new tooth will be new until you're old. Really? I feel so happy, I want everyone to see. It's like the bright circle is shining inside of me. I lost my <gasps> tooth. some mud, and then a tooth, and now they're excited about the mud again. Hey! Shortcut. Hmm. Well, at least I. Hey, look! I think I know that herd. I do too. It's Allie. Allie's come back. Let's go see her. I wish we had a shortcut.
All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall on me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. very brave. Oh, yeah, Little Nick. My name is Little Foot. Well, I'm Rhett the Brave, hero of the herd, scarer of the sharp teeth. Hero of the herd? <clears throat> scarer of the sharp teeth? The ones we've seen aren't scared of flying rocks, earth shakes, or smoking mountains. Let alone little long necks. Well, they're scared of me. Tell them all about your adventures, Rhett. Well, while you kids have been living here safe all the time, I've been in the mysterious beyond protecting my herd. Stay back. I'll handle this. scared of those flying rocks. Now, another time, the herd was being chased. Go on without me. I won't let them hurt you. That was a close one. <laughs> That's some tale. I know. And then there was the time I used my tail to build a mountain of rocks that the sharp teeth couldn't climb. <laughs> You haven't heard anything yet. I think we've heard enough. We've heard plenty. So, Allie, were you with Rhett when any of this stuff happened? Um, no. That happened before our herds joined up. And you really believe that he built a mountain of rocks with his tail? While being chased by sharp teeth? Oh, well, that mountain of rocks was mostly built, but I did finish the top. See? He finished the top! Of a mountain? 
That's pretty hard to believe. You're just mad because you can't knock down trees with your tail. Come on, Sarah. I guess we're just not brave enough to play with Allie anymore. <laughs> Want to play rescue? Um, okay. I can't believe Allie believes those crazy stories. We were her friends. Hmm. Well, it's not fair. He can't be her best friend. I don't care. The stories he's telling are phony. Red is telling her lies. Red says he's brave. The scarer of sharp teeth. There's no way that he'd ever dare to get near one. Betty he'd grab his mighty tail and run. But even if his stories all are lies, how do we try to convince Allie otherwise? He'll still deceive. She'll believe. We need a plan. Red brave! Me want to meet him! No, Petrie. Red's making stuff up and has convinced Allie he's telling the truth. Allie thinks he's so brave, and he's not! It makes me so mad. I'm angry, too. Well, the longer you're mad, the less you're happy. So, what we do? I don't know, Petrie. But we gotta find a way to show Allie the truth. Yeah. I guess I could just try telling Allie that Red is making stuff up again. But what if she does not believe you again? What if Red hit you with tail? <laughs> we need to show Allie that Red's not as brave as he says. Yeah. I'd like to see what Rhett would do if a real sharp tooth came around. Hmm. Wait! What if we really did have him face a real sharp tooth? You want to bring a real sharp tooth into the Great Valley? Uh, I don't know if that plan's such a good plan. My plan is to use a sharp tooth that's already here. <laughs> There's sharp tooth in Great Valley. <laughs> yep, and he's right here. You mean me? But Chomper is nice. He is, he is. We know Chomper's nice, but you don't know that until you know him. And Allie and Rhett have never met Chomper. Right! Now, here's how it'll work. Chomper will chase us around, pretending he's a vicious sharp tooth. <laughs> <laughs> then Littlefoot shows up and asks Rhett to help him save everyone. Grr, grr, grr. <laughs> but when Rhett gets scared, Allie will see he's been making up all of those stories. See? If we all pretend right, it'll work. I can pretend to be scared in. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, me good at being scared. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Come on, Littlefoot. It's a great plan. What can possibly go wrong? What do you think, Chomper? It sounds kind of fun to me. As long as nobody gets hurt. Nobody will get hurt. We're all just going to be pretending. Then it sounds like I'll be pretending to have friends for dinner. Friends for dinner. Pretend to have friends for dinner. We'll say he 
wants three horn soup and little foot stew. It might be funny when it chew on you. Mm -hmm. That's not a very nice thing to do. To have friends for dinner. <laughs> friends for dinner. Don't want to be friends for dinner. Don't want to be spike a la mode or flavor of duck. You think that tastes good? Yuck! You know you've run out of luck when you're friends for dinner. Friends for dinner. Friends for dinner. My friends for dinner. Mmm. So, Littlefoot, what do you say now? It probably would show Allie that Red's not so brave. Okay, let's do it. Ready? And go! Come on, guys! You're supposed to be scared! And you're supposed to be scary! <gasps> <laughs> Guys, be serious. Start again. Ah, he hungry, me scared. And I am even more scared it is. We need help to be saved. <laughs> Rush in and stand right next to me, little foot. Let's try it one more time. story. But one thing's for sure, we are not afraid to play with Chomper. So what do you think? Do you want to play with us? Well, sure. 
I guess Red isn't as brave as he says he is. Where'd he go, anyway? Sharp tooth? I've never heard of such a thing. The sharp this tooth can't be what that be. He's a sharp tooth! Who cares if he talks? Let's get rid of him! <gasps> I suppose we must. Old one! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Chasing you. You were calling for help. They wanted to show me that all of Red's stories were made up. Stories? What stories? Um. He kept telling me that he saved his herd from many sharp teeth before we met them. Red, come forward. Uh, yes. Did you make up stories to fool these children? Um, um, uh, um. It's okay, Rhett. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Little ones, this is very serious. Did you see what happened when you tried to fool each other? Yes, I guess so. You may have wanted it to be a joke, but a sharp tooth attack is no laughing matter. We're all really sorry, old one. And as for you... Uh, yes? I don't know how you became friends with so many here in the Great Valley. But I think it's good. Longnecks, follow me! Ha, 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 ha. 
We can play now. We can. We can. Me not it if we play tag. I'm too tired to be it. Hey, Rhett. Want to play tag? But I made up all my adventures. It doesn't mean we can't all have new adventures. Come on, Rhett. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys are the best! Okay, Spike, you're it! <laughs> 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 <laughs>